Okay, so what I'd like to talk to you guys about today are families of quadratic functions. So quadratic functions which share roots but have a different a value, so that's the leading coefficient, they belong to a family, okay? So they have the same x-intercepts, but they're going to have a different leading coefficient, and we say that they belong to a family. So let's take a look at a, a, the kind of question you might get which involve families of quadratic equations. So for example, what we're going to do here is we're going to determine the equation of the parabola whose zeros are 4 and negative 5, okay? Now, that alone, or those alone, those two zeros, are not enough to determine the full equation of this particular parabola. We're going to need a little bit more information. It will be enough to determine the family that it belongs to, okay? But it won't be enough to determine the a value. It will not be enough to determine the leading coefficient. So we're going to need one more bit of information, and that bit of information is going to be which point it passes through. So specifically, this is going to be the quadratic equation that belongs to the family of parabolas whose zeros are 4 and negative 5, which passes through the point 2, negative 42. That will be enough to specify a specific parabola. Okay, so what we're going to do to start this is we're going to deal with factored form. Now the reason we're dealing with factored form here is because we have the zeros. And factored form is the easiest way of writing a parabola that deals with the zeros. We can tell exactly where those zeros are going to go. So specifically, we know that they're going to go in for R right here and S right here. Okay, so we're going to be making the substitutions for those. Okay, so when we make those substitutions, we end up getting F of X is equal to A times X minus 4 times X plus 5. Okay, now this is enough to define the specific family. So that is the equation that defines the family of quadratic functions. But it, of course, in this question, we're looking for the specific parabola that passes through a point. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the x and the y values of the point that are given to us in the question and substitute those into the equation. So we, of course, know that the y value is going to be substituted in for f of x. And the x value is going to be substituted in for x, which is going to give us this line, negative 42, is equal to a times 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 5. And of course, 2 minus 4 gives us negative 2, and 2 plus 5 gives us 7, so we simplify that a little bit. And of course, negative 2 times positive 7 is negative 14, so that gives us negative 42 is equal to negative 14a. Next, we want to divide out by negative 14 in order to isolate for a. So we divide out by negative 14, and the two negative 14s cancel there. Now, negative 42 divided by negative 14 is positive 3. So what we've actually just determined is we've determined the a value of the parabola that we're looking for, right? Now, because the only thing that differs between the different parabolas in this family is the a value, we now actually have enough information to specify the exact equation of the parabola that we want. So it's going to be the equation of the parabola that follows this form here, okay, f of x is equal to a times x minus 4 times x plus 5, but we're going to substitute 3 in for a. So. What we can say is, therefore, the equation of the parabola with uh, zeros of 4 and negative 5, which passes through the point that we want, which is 2, negative 42, is f of x is equal to 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 5. Okay? So that's the process of coming up with the equation of a parabola if you've been given the zeros, the two zeros, and a point. Okay? Hope that help that's helpful for you guys. Enjoy.